The Truth Divulged by Oliver Brighton Wisher. People discover truth in many different ways. Through nature, through complexity and science, and even through faith, people discover the truth. But there are still many questions that we have about truth today such as how and why were we created? How was the earth constructed? And is God even real? Both you and I will discover how I reach the truth together. I am a very faithful person. I am a believer of God, while at the same time, I also strongly believe in the teachings of evolution, which is why I discover life's truths by incorporating my beliefs into one belief we call theology of evolution. Theology of evolution is an infusion of faith and science and God is portrayed as a loving figure. The evolution aspect is very evident in all of our lives today. The natural world evolved, such as mountains and even the Earth's continents, have taken shape and evolved into what they are today. Human inventions have evolved in a similar way that the natural world has. It continues to grow and change in the same way that we as humans do. Technology is a prime example of this. Technology evolves almost annually, such as cell phones, computers, etc. The evolution of technology proves that evolution doesn't just exist on a natural level. We as humans have evolved as well. An example to prove this statement factual is our body's immunity to specific diseases. As we have evolved over long periods of time, our bodies were prone to more and more diseases. Thus. Over time, we developed antibodies to fight these diseases. Now, you are probably asking yourself, how is God involved in evolution? Aren't science and faith two separate beliefs? Well, based on what we just learned, evolution is a process where there is no initial quote-unquote plan to it. God, as we know him, is a very loving and caring figure. Love means to care for, while at the same time, give space or let grow. Think of God as a parent. He gives us guidance, but he is not quote-unquote ruling over us. He gives us space to become our own character and create our own character with him, but at the same time, he is not completely isolated from us. He helps us create our own future and he makes his love very evident to us. Theological evolution helps me decipher between what I believe is true and what I believe isn't true because I can incorporate two different ways of thinking into theological evolution. These two different approaches to discovering truth are called faith and science. I combine the things that I learn and produce a conclusion based on infusing these dual ways of thinking together. Through theological evolution, it becomes very apparent to us that God is a very loving and caring figure, and we are co-creators of our own future along with God, since he gives us the space we need in order to make our own decisions. Therefore, since evolution is imperfect and accidental in a sense, the term future does not exist because no initial plan is taking place. Through theological evolution, not only can I discover life's truths through science, but faith in God will also help God to guide me to discover life's truest realities.